A new state medical examiner's office is one step closer to becoming reality. The office carries a heavy backlog of cases, leaving more than a thousand families wondering what caused their loved one's death. Two news problems are Michelle Lowry investigates what's causing the huge holdups and how a new facility could fix the problem. The state medical examiner's office in Oklahoma City is in bad shape. Uh, we have 23 active water leaks. We have a hole in the morgue floor. It lost its accreditation with the National Association of Medical Examiners, or NAME, in 2009, both because of the condition of the building and because the office does not have enough forensic pathologists on staff. The ME's chief administrative officer, Amy Elliott, says there's funding to hire more, but the cramped, overcrowded offices make it impossible. If I hired a doctor right now, I couldn't put him or her in the building to work. As a result, there are 1,100 open cases. Nearly 100 of those go back to 2012. One of them, the case of five-year-old Noah Osborne. His family came from Oregon to Tulsa to celebrate Thanksgiving last year. Noah went to bed November 29th, 2012, and died in his sleep. We spoke to his parents, Stephen and Jenny, via Skype as they wait and wonder why. You know, as a mother, it's important to me to take care of and protect my children and you know, because there were no signs that Noah was sick and that this was going to happen, I feel like I didn't get the opportunity to fight for his life, and I'd like to know why. Nearly a year later, still no answers, and Noah's case, along with more than a thousand others in Oklahoma, remain open. Noah Osborne's case is one of our top priorities. Every case we have is a priority, but uh, we feel for Noah's family for the time that they've waited. As you can see around me, these are all cases that are waiting. Their loved ones are waiting for conclusion. Elliot says building a new facility, double the size of the current office, would allow her to hire the additional doctors she needs so they could close the huge backlog of cases. Funding for the new facility was challenged all the way to the state Supreme Court, but justices just recently approved using $38.5 million to build the new ME's facility. It's hoped they'll break ground early next year. Construction will take three years, meaning 2017 before the expanded facility is up and running. Michelle Lowry, 2 News Works for you. Storm